Buenos dias and noches, or something like that. Paranormal Video Gamer here. So, a lot of people have probably heard the news that Sony has just bought Insomniac Games. I think this is a good decision by Sony, because Insomniac Games, um, for a long time, was a very quality type of gameplay developer. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. I mean, uh, I remember when uh, Sony bought Gorilla, and uh, Gorilla, at the time, had just finished, I think, like, Killzone 2, which is a phenomenal game. Uh, the whole Killzone series I've always loved. And, uh, yeah, they bought them out, and uh, they, they've been putting out really quality games there, uh, especially with um, the one that they did, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, and that game is phenomenal. And uh, I'm actually excited to see what the future may hold for Insomniac Games. So there's other news <laughs> that uh, debuted. I know a lot of people probably haven't heard this, but if you have, uh, I completely understand. Um, I'm not sure if everybody has heard about what's been going on with Apex Legends. I will not pick up the game ever again. And here's my reason why. I will not pick up Apex Legends because Apex Legends um, general manager, um, I don't even know what he would call himself. I don't have a name. I just know the situation that was going on with Reddit. I think he was like one of the directors of the game or producers of the game, one of the two. Well, anyway, people were saying how, disappointment, how disappointed they were with this Iron Crown event. Uh, there's a some sort of a, a, a hammer that you can unlock with the game, but you have to get all of these um, other pieces in order to get the opportunity to unlock this particular hammer. And in order to do that, you have to spend $170. And that's if you do it right. If you don't do it right, you have to spend like $230 in order to get an opportunity to buy this particular weapon. So you have to spend 170 to $200 to get an opportunity to buy this particular weapon. And then you have to spend another, apparently, $35 to unlock this weapon for Apex Legends. So when people started saying on Reddit that they were upset that pretty much they didn't understand why this was done why couldn't they make it you know something that you grind for and you actually work for and you can obtain all the stuff you cannot obtain it through the normal game you have to buy it in order for you to get it you have to pay money in order to get that particular rare items well people had on reddit basically said i think you guys should change this because it's obvious that not everybody's going to be able to get this because, you know, most people that have the game play the game because they like it. You know, it's a free-to-play game. Well, the guy that, whoever this guy is, again, I don't know who it is, um, he pretty much said, well, most of you people are freeloaders. I remember seeing that comment in the thread. Most of you guys are freeloaders. And uh, you guys pretty the way he explained it is pretty much, you know, we, we, we feel very good about this. And then when people started saying, how can you feel good about this, that you're charging $400 for freaking stuff that you, you it's physically not in your possession. He pretty much started calling people names and resorting to, uh, let's just say, unfortunate stuff. So, I'm not going to even mention names, but I cannot in good conscience play Apex Legends because doing so is rewarding them for terrible, terrible behavior. I understand there's some people that made some comments that were not very nice, but you have to be better 
in my opinion, as a game developer, you have to be better than those people making comments about your product. If somebody's unhappy with your product, you say, I'm very sorry that it was not to your liking. And, um, you know, we'll, the next time we have something, we'll, we'll do our very best to make it better. You know, and uh, you, you ask them if they'd like their money back or half their money back, something. Um, in the case of Apex Legends, obviously, because it's free, uh, they kind of feel like they don't have to do anything. And I'm... It's weird. It really is weird. Um, I'm trying to talk while people are walking by, so I don't want to interrupt people. But I just thought... For me, at least. You know, you put a lot of time and effort into a game, like me. You know, I, I put hundreds of hours into games. And, um, you know, my whole thing is, if I really love a game, I'm going to spend a little bit more money on that particular DLC. Do I think all DLC is necessary? No. There are some DLCs that, for the life of me, I don't understand why people... You know, um, spend hundreds of dollars on. Um, I don't understand it. It's like Madden. People spend hundreds of dollars on the Madden system to unlock stuff. And um, as I said in my Madden review, there's literally no change from Madden 20 to Madden 19. It is ridiculous how little EA has actually changed with what they put into the game and what they took out. But this whole situation with Apex Legends, as a gamer, I kind of feel like they have to be better than what they portrayed. They have to be better. They have to be smarter with how they say, hey, look, we're sorry. We messed up. We will fix this. We will make it better. We will allow people to unlock this by playing the game. And they didn't do that. Instead, they decided to feed the trolls that were on the thread, and then they got pissed off when these trolls attacked them, and instead of being cool about it, they pretty much blew up. And because of the disrespect that they wrote, I cannot in good conscience play Apex Legend anymore and you will never see it on my channel I actually the one video that I did uh, I deleted it uh, about an hour ago so it's not even on my channel anymore and I just did that because you know um, I felt why would I reward them by sharing their game when they're gonna call gamers who are just asking why was this done if they're gonna call them dicks <laughs> Because they're asking questions, then what's the point of keeping that particular content on my channel? Apex Legends is a great game. It's a fun game. But I will no longer play it until the people that have made Apex Legend a joke um, turn in their notifications of... Uh, pretty much stepping down from their positions because I think that that's what needs to be done in my opinion uh, You know that that particular um, Way of dealing with it is unwarranted in my opinion and um, I honestly think that that's the best thing that they could do right now uh, That's my opinion. Hopefully you guys liked it and uh, If you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for a live stream of Fallout 76. So get ready to boop. Boop, boop, doop, doop, boop, boop, boop.